Hey guys, tonight two and three here. And um I'm back home. I just got back a few hours ago. And this is a Brewer Brew Caddy Noir review. Well the and um <laughs> Jeez, sorry for that. Sorry for the gun sounds in the background, my mom was watching something. But uh so she comes with standard Brew York Brew York brush stand and this little if it's around her tail with her hand it's a little face on the back on the back sadly it's not like um Kate Cheshire I was about to say Kate Cheshire there's a thing where it has the little tail on the back but, uh, I'm gonna go from top to bottom so here's her headband. It comes rubber banded on, but she was just in my backpack for a few hours. Now she's actually got her ears. Not sure if you can see through the headband, but they're pink on the inside. Okay. She definitely looks kind of, I think, actually worse off the headband. Okay. Comment your opinion. With the headband, without the headband. But uh, just saying, she has a lot of sand mixed in like her hair and the corners of her eyes and stuff because she kept face playing in the sand when I was filming at Caddy at the Beach. So, uh, yeah, I'll be two, doing two other reviews after this, although I'm not sure which one I'll post. Probably this one first. And uh, so she has this, like, well, I'm just going to look at her. She has a blue streak from the back. It doesn't look like she has any color, but then when you see this side see this side and it's also sparkly and they were really gelled down but you know in my backpack wait here's her face and mine had a little paint defect right there but I didn't notice it till I got home so I got her at the Toys R Us Express in um, Houston Texas Pearland so uh yeah, that little one kind of looks like chalk, but it, probably because the silver makeup that goes down there. Yeah, she's got a lot of makeup. It's like four layers of eyeshadow. And uh, she has this like armor, although sadly with hers, it does kind of prevent her. Her arms can't go out or up. And, um,. But, you know, really stands out. Looks like aluminum foil. And then I realized it could be, either, like, you know, it's coming on the sides, but never had her snakes. This could be her broken mirror. And it's, like, reflective. <laughs> and also, Monster 637 Ever After. I just remember her channel name. Uh, if you're watching this, I am going to answer your question. And I did subscribe to you. Now, when you take the, and you know, which, for some reason, mine is easier to remove and put back on the Nephra's. Comment below if you experienced that. Now, um, she's got this dress on underneath that and well, let's just say, let's hope Caddy doesn't have to bend over. <laughs> you can't see it, but just her underwear sticking out. And, uh, sort of, it's like all uneven, like it goes down this side, and then if you look under... Like, the black cutouts, they sort of go unevenly. Now, I personally like her with the armor and the headband better. You know, it gives her a little more of, like, a kind of pop vibe. Pop, comet, looks like she's about to perform in space, you know. But that's sort of the idea of New York, New York. Or, well, at least of the sort of shooting star thing. She has these gloves, and her hands are clawed. Just like a combination of everything people hate. Like, dolls have. And it's sort of... I'm not sure if you can see the detail. Like, you sort of see that spiderweb thing. It could be either spiderweb or broken glass. I personally think it's broken glass. It would have been cool if she had, like, kind of the number 13, like, one, three. Maybe on her headband or something. And uh, now her shoes are that same blue as the headband and, well, not really in her hair, but just, yeah. 
It would have been cool if the stuff in her and stuff was like silver. Alright, yeah. For some reason I'm just blowing raspberries. So spikes and spikes in the back. Of course she has her tail. And you can also put her purse over her. Okay, Noah, that was Caddy Noir. Thank you very much for watching. And bye. Bye again. Bye.